Happy New Year everybody. Welcome back to the channel, pals. Hope everybody's well. Hope everybody had a good Christmas and New Year. All the best for this year. Going into 2023. I would best get back on the YouTube train and let everybody know what we've been up to. So, took a couple of weeks off to gather our thoughts, enjoy some time together over Christmas holidays. And we've been spending some time with the family in the Algarve down there for a week, getting some sun like we are today, January. 11th beautiful day here in Cortegada t-shirt weather can't be bad had quite a bit of rain as well but it's been broken up probably half be half with sunny days so that's nice so since the last video picked Jen up from Porto and she'd been home for a week or so and we visited the historical city of Guimarães which was very nice actually we got recommended to visit there by our landlady and last time we were up that sort of area we didn't actually get a chance to visit there so we stayed there for a night while I picked when I picked her up from Porto picked Jen up from Porto Airport as we went and looked at a few other potential properties and Gimmerange was really nice so we were pleasantly surprised about that and that isn't too far away from the other places that we've liked Barcelos and Braga and up around that area north of Porto and up to the Lima there's a sort of region that we've been looking so we visited visit Gimmer Range had a nice meal there and moved on and on the way down to the Algarve some of the places around central Portugal that we hadn't made the trip to as they are from where we're living at the Whoa. moment still around about yeah. an hour and a half and now they're an hour and a half away so we visited Monsanto on the way down to the Algarve and we visited Castelo Branco as well, Monsanto, very very beautiful place, little quaint place on a steep hill, mm -hmm. had a, the picturesque castle, traditional castle at the top with the city inside the, the walls of the castle and the views were spectacular there as well so I highly recommend Monsanto and we stopped at Castelo Branco as well on the way down massive place Castelo Branco down. I had an idea that it was going to be quite big but not as big as it actually is so we went in there had a bite to eat didn't explore it too much Castelo Branco for a nice healthy snack <laughs> although it was had some nice little squares and stuff don't think I'd rush to go back there and it is quite built up residentially but I imagine that living near the place would be quite handy as it will have a lot of commercial shops and pretty much anything and everything you need for running your home or a farm or the like so it has got that positive but yeah on the way down to the Algarve we stopped for a nice little halfway rest in a nice little cabin just for the night it's a nice sauna there and a pool to have a cold dunk in so we stopped there and had a rest had some food had our second Christmas dinner on Boxing Day on the way down to Algarve and then we went down and spent a week with the family in Faro which was very nice. Had a nice villa there. Bella, come here. Come here. Here, come close. Stay. Say hello. Yeah. Ah! 
Oh, well then. Stayed in Faro, a nice little villa. Had a nice pool and a pool table. And despite the weather forecast, it was clear as crystal down there for most of the most of the week. I think we had one night of rain, so it's nice. Got a bit of colour in the face broke up what hasn't really been a very cold winter anyway although we've had quite a bit of rain but it was nice to break it up with some warmer weather I think it's going to turn out to be a very mild winter here in Portugal anyway although we are in the one of the areas that does drop down to some of the coldest temperatures and we have had a few mornings where there's been frost on the garden and on the ground but yeah, we're down there for a week. Me and Jen went and watched the New Year's Eve fireworks in Faro for our first wedding anniversary. One year already, so that was nice.